guys, it's Jenna and welcome back to my channel. I'm fresh out of the shower and I'm gonna do a little video here on my skin and sort of a reaction I had to really a simple change in my daily routine. Now, I just did my tretinoin one year before and after not that long ago and I said that, you know, I would basically do uh, a three month, an update every three months now. Unless something interesting or different happened, then I would do a video sooner. And sure enough, something did happen. So I'm just gonna kind of come in and show you guys some of these new friends that I have going on. And it's a little bit harder to see right now, but I do have some additional texture or kind of little bumps um, under my skin as well. And it happens to be a dietary change, which is what brought this up. So for the last probably like month or so, I would say, I have had this abnormal craving for milk. Now I know I'm probably going to get some comments here about why do you drink cow's milk? So you know, I grew up drinking regular cow's milk. That's very common here um, in the US as well as other places in the world. And I've always really loved the taste of milk. In fact, I do drink a small amount of milk in my coffee every single day, um, but it's not like I drink the amount of milk that I did as a child. However, recently, and I don't know if my body is like, um, has a need for calcium or what, but I was having an abnormal craving for milk and I was drinking like these large glasses of milk. So I would say I would have at least one large, large glass of milk a day. And when I say large, I'm going to say like 16 ounces of, of milk. So I started to have this, this abnormal breaking out because as you know, you know, especially since nine month mark of tretinoin, I really haven't had any breakouts. And when I do have breakouts, they're not like my typical hormonal breakouts that used to happen. So for example, this one, which is already healing, became a massive swollen whitehead. Um, and these two are just, they haven't become like swollen whiteheads, but they are, they've been there for a while now. And they are just a little bit more swollen than um, I'm used to now, you know, that my acne is much more superficial that I've been on tretinoin now for a long time. Um, so I did a little bit of research and, you know, I've always heard people say that like dairy can cause acne, but, you know, specifically the only new, I, I mean, I eat dairy, but the only new dairy item that I introduced was cow's milk and, you know, a much larger quantity than I'm used to. So I did research it on the internet and sure enough, milk, all milk, even organic milk contains an insulin spiking hormone that can lead to acne. So it basically sets off a chain reaction and can lead to breakouts. And so I was like, well, I wonder, you know, how soon this occurs. And it can happen in as little as one to two days after the milk consumption. Now, while milk, cow's milk specifically causes this, there is not a whole lot of research to indicate that dairy in general can cause this. It's just specifically cow's milk. And again, that's any kind of cow's milk, even organic. So I did want to come on because I think that something I've never really talked about much on my channel is diet. And I really try to stay away from talking about diet just because I feel like everyone is so different. Everyone's nutritional needs are different. People are going to be, have sensitivities to different food and what might work for one person won't work for other people. So I try not to talk too much about nutrition. I think that if that is a concern you have, you should actually go and speak to a, you know, nutritionist or a dietitian. But I did want to come on just to say that diet is something in your own individual life that if you have skin concerns, you should pay attention to. And and, you know, if you've had skin concerns for a long time, your diet may in fact be playing a role in that. And there is like a thing called the elimination diet where you can essentially slowly eliminate certain things from your diet to see if in fact it does have a trigger or an effect on your skin. So, you know, this video is short today, but I did want to come in to show that even though I've been on tretinoin now for quite a while, that doesn't make me immune to hormonal acne triggers. Now, this is you know, very minimal hormonal acne, but 
Again, I did just want to come on and point out that diet is something I really have never talked about. So questions, comments, concerns, let me know in the comment section below. And also, have you had this kind of a reaction to cow's milk specifically? And what did that look like for you? So um, anyways, I hope everyone is doing well. I will have some other videos coming up. There have been some shipment delays just because of weather and obviously still, you know, COVID issues. So I will be doing some new and exciting videos here to come and kind of get back in the swing of doing a video uh, once every week. So uh, thanks for tuning in, guys. I hope everyone's doing well and I will talk to you all soon.